Okay, this tutorial is going to cover how to engage air targets using the F-15. Uh, the first thing I'm going to cover is STT. The second mode is going to be TWS. And the last mode is going to be the uh, auto acquisition mode called Super Search. So the first thing we're going to do is STT. And in order to use this mode, make sure you're in air-to-air -air master mode. So down here you can see we have ADI selected. We do not want that. We want none of these highlighted. So now that we're in air-to-air -air mode, make sure master arm is on. Make sure you have the proper missile selected using your weapon selection switch. And then we'll come over here to the VSD. We'll move our cursor over the target. And we'll press and hold the TDC button over a target until it's highlighted and it stays visible. And then we're going to release it. You can also just do a single click of the TDC over the target, but I like to put it into spotlight mode first. So over here you can have the uh, altitude of the target. It's at 16,500. If you look at your HUD, you can see the range. It's currently 18 miles. You can also tell the range over here on the VSD by looking at these different lines and you know, interpolating. Now if we press TDC again on the target, it goes to STT mode. STT you can only engage one target at a time, but it's the most accurate way to send an AIM-120 at your guy. And it's also required to use AIM-7s. So we're going to press and hold weapon release. Come down a little bit, put the target on our HUD, and we'll speed up and watch the missile impact. Okay, we got a hit. So this is STT mode. The next mode we're going to cover is TWS. Alright, before we talk about how to use TWS mode, let's first understand that in the F-15, the default mode for the air-to-air -air radar is going to be LRS, or Long Range Search. Now, to leave LRS mode to TWS, there's two methods. The first one is you move your radar cursor over open sky without no contact under it and you press and hold TDC and then you auto acquisition aft at the same time. As you can see in the bottom left of our radar it says TWS so we're in TWS mode. Now the second method to enter TWS mode is you move your cursor over an actual target and you press TDC once. Now this is called highlight mode. In order to go to TWS mode we auto acquisition switch forward and now we are in TWS mode again. Now to leave TWS mode, all you gotta do is do auto acquisition switch down, or press if you will. And that goes back to LRS mode. So we'll go ahead and go back to TWS mode. And this next clip, I'm gonna show you how to target these guys and engage them. All right, once you're in TWS mode, you're gonna press up on the coolie hat to cycle targets. The currently selected target is represented by the star. So press and hold weapon release, coolie hat up to select the next guy, press and hold weapon release. And now we got one missile going for one target and another missile going for the other. We'll fast forward the game a little bit and watch it unfold. And there we have two hits. That's TWS mode. So the last method for engaging a target is going to be super search mode. In order to enter this mode you're going to use your auto acquisition switch forward. As you can see the HUD pops up this weird symbology. It looks like two semicircles with a you know, you know a dotted line. Uh, this mode will pick up any contact in front of you automatically out to 10 miles. It's kind of like the dogfight mode in the uh, yeah. F-16. So as you can see right there it automatically locked up our contact and all we gotta do now is press and hold weapon release. There goes the missile. It's really good for up close and personal fighting, you know, dog fighting and uh, within visual range engagements. So we'll uh, press uh, down on the auto acquisition switch to leave that mode. And yeah. we can reacquire another target and engage. And auto acquisition down again to go back to long range search mode. That's the uh, super search mode.